here comes my mom. I wasn't going to, but now that you said it, here I am. <laughs> Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my 2021 reading and channel goals so without further ado let us get started I know that most people look back on their 2020 goals in these videos but <laughs> I didn't film a 2020 goal video because I just didn't care and I was in teachers college at the time and super stressed and I was not thinking about reading at all but this year we're gonna make a video so that I can look back in 2022 and see if I actually accomplished those goals so the first goal that I have for my channel is how many books do I want to read for this year my goal is 140 books in 2020 I read 165 books I do want to disclaimer that a little bit and say that for the majority of the year last year I wasn't in school this year I will be in school I'm going back to get my early childhood education ECE diploma starting in a couple of days actually January 6th whenever you see this video maybe it's already passed but that means I probably will not have as much time to read because I'm hopefully going to be working at the same time as going to school so my reading time is definitely going to go down so you know I feel like 140 is a good number I may or may not accomplish this we will see next year the next goal that I have is to read at least five books a month so if I only read five books per month at least I get 60 out of the 140 I want but whatever the stipulation to this goal is that I want to make one of these five books an arc whether that be a new releasing arc that I have or one of my backlist arcs because I have way too many that I have not read because I got into a little bit of a reading slump and did not fulfill what I was supposed to do with my arcs. So that kind of leads me to my next goal, which is to get my arc backlist down. I have arcs from like 2018 that I still have yet to pick up, so I really want to get those down because obviously the whole point of arcs is to read them before the release date. But I was going through a tough time and I just kept getting sent arcs and I wasn't actually reading them. So so I'm slowly but surely trying to get that down so that I am back on track. Fingers crossed that that's actually going to happen this year. Next goal is to finish series that I have started, specifically the Throne of Glass series. I watched my series I want to finish video from 2016 and I had talked about the Throne of Glass series. I just read the first Throne of Glass series in 2020, so my goal is to actually complete that series. Obviously, I'm going to try to complete other series that I've started as well, like Red Queen, Nevernight, Illuminae Files. I have so many series that I've started and just haven't completed because I've just been sidetracked by other shiny new books so that's the goal for 2021. The next goal I have for myself is to read more books that intimidate me which for me that means read bigger books. I don't often pick up books that are over like 400 pages just because I feel like they take me so long to read and I have so many books on my TBR that I don't want to spend like three weeks trying to read one book but for 2021 we are gonna set a goal to read more books that are scary. This could also mean like like reading books that are out of my typical genres. So I mainly focus on thriller books. I have been leaning more towards fantasy this year than I have been in past years. I also have been trying to pick up more contemporary YA romance kind of situations because I just gravitate towards the stabby stabby murder murder books. So I guess that could also count for this challenge is read different genres as well. The next goal kind of brings everything together with the trying to read more books that I already own kind of situation like the arc backlist and whatnot but it is to read more books that I'm bringing in so my haul to unhaul ratio needs to have more books on the unhaul side than on the haul side I have a very bad habit of not buying books for a really long time and then picking up like 50 books at once because of like sales from the thrift store I never really buy full price books from like bookstores so whenever there's like a 50% off sale at the thrift store I kind of go a little bit crazy and buy everything in the store so I bring in a lot more books than I'm actually taking out so this year that's not gonna happen we're gonna keep track and we're gonna make sure that each month I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and unhauling more 
then we're bringing in. And then my final goal is my big channel goal. It is to hit 5k because I have been trying to hit 5k for like a thousand trillion years now and I'm always fluctuating between 4,680 to 4,705 and I've just been going back and forth between those two numbers for the past year and it's driving me insane. So the goal is to hit 5k. Is it gonna happen? Probably not, but a girl can dream. So that's my final goal for this year. All right, everybody. So those are my channel and reading goals. I don't know if any of them are actually going to happen because like I said, I'm going back to school and who knows if we're actually going to have time to read or not. Let me know down below some of your channel or reading goals and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!